In the previous demo, we saw how to build a system containing a membrane with membrane proteins and soluble proteins. That procedure required building a new membrane. However, if we already have an equilibrated membrane or membrane-like structure, we can use that instead. Note that multi-component assembler does not support inserting molecules into a pre-equilibrated membrane structure. So if you want your pre-equilibrated membrane to contain embedded molecules, you should build your membrane with the molecules already in it. In this demo, we'll create two multi-component systems. First, a membrane-like polymer with solution proteins. Then, an equilibrated axolemma with solution proteins. We will start with a membrane-like polymer. The polymer that we will use is polyethylene oxide polyethylene ethylene. This is the same material produced in the third video demo for Polymer Builder, and you can watch that demo to see how we made it. For this demo, we will use a pre-built polymer that you can download in the video description below. Drag the PSF and CRD for the polymer and proteins into the upload form and click Next to upload the files. When multi-component assembler finishes processing the files, it shows the system size settings. Since we are treating the polymer as an infinite sheet along the x and y dimensions, we choose the xy periodic component type. Multi-component assembler then shows periodic options, including unit cell and amount to exclude above and below periodic components. Please note that at the time of this recording, multi-component assembler does not support multiple periodic components or combining periodic and membrane components. For periodic components, we must enter the dimensions provided in the project that created the component. For solvated polymers, this is given in step 2.6 underscore solvator.str, where A, B, and C corresponds to X, Y, and Z respectively. For packing purposes, this will cause the polymer to be treated as a 151 angstrom thick membrane. Solvated components will be placed outside of this region in a layer of water added above and below the periodic component, whose thickness is given by the water thickness option. After we click the Calculate button, note that the calculated volume fraction refers to the fraction of solvated components inside the water thickness region. Since we want the final volume fraction of protein in solution to be 10%, we'll first enter a Z value corresponding to the thickness of the polymer, which is around 120 angstroms. Then we use the ratio of components and volume fraction options to determine a system size and number of components with 10% volume fraction. However, since we uploaded a polymer with water already in it, we should return the z-value back to 151 to prevent collisions between protein and existing water. When you have determined the system size and composition, click Next to generate the system. If packing finished without errors, click View Structure to verify that the result is what you expect. If everything looks okay, then you can continue with solvent building options, and the remaining steps are the same as what was shown in the previous videos. Next, we'll pack solution proteins with a pre-equilibrated membrane structure. The membrane that we'll use is the Axolemma model that was built in Membrane Builder Video Demo 3 and simulated on a high-performance cluster. After simulation, we manually removed water and ions to make more room for adding proteins with multi-component assembler. You can find the result of this modification in the video description below. Drag the component files onto the file upload form and click Next. Just like with the polymer, we need to know the exact dimensions along X and Y. You can find this information in a simulation's DCD or restart files. In our case, we'll use the values in the restart file. However, since we removed all water molecules from this membrane system, the Z length is no longer accurate. We are not defining the system's Z dimension with this value, so we can simply set it to an approximate membrane thickness. As with the previous demos, we will create a system with a 10% protein volume fraction within the solvated region. After calculating the system size, click Next to continue packing. The remaining steps are the same as what was shown in the previous videos.